working uh, in main with some simple calculations so we'll start in the main application and to start with let's just look at um, some powers of some simple numbers so we'll tap the keyboard button to get the keyboard up to start with uh, we're going to enter 4 squared so we can just do that using the keypad by itself using 4 to the power of 2 and tap execute one way of doing it um, we could also choose to use the 4 from the keyboard and then hit uh, the power button, pop a 2 in for the power. So now it's kind of looking uh, the way that 4 squared is appears in most math textbooks. And then tap execute. Obviously we've got 16 again. The other way we can do it is tap on 4 and there is uh, an x squared button on the math 1 tab here. If we tap that chat. Uh, it just uses the same kind of method as we use from the keyboard, pressing execute, and that gives us that one. Let's clear the screen and move on to do some other powers. So what about if we wanted the power of 3 to the power of 4? Again, we can just use the keyboard, 3 to the power of 4, and tap execute, it's 81. Or we could use 3 to the power, and again, you go for that kind of 2D textbook entry, tap execute and it's done. For square roots there's a few options here. Um, let's just tidy the screen up again. For the first one we can actually use the template that's on the uh, math one. It's also on several of the other templates too. It's one because we use a lot it tends to live on um, math one, two and three. So we're going to tap uh, the template and enter 49 and execute. So method one. Another way is um, if we have line selected, uh, so I've just tapped on the line button, when I tap on this template now, uh, it looks a little bit different and this is kind of single line entry. Uh, we could put in 49, press execute and we've got our result. If you don't want to use the keyboard at all, we'll just hide it. We can simply type in 49 to the power of 0 0.5 if uh, you're familiar with the use of fractional indices for roots. Uh, we could also enter 49 to the power, and I'll have to use f uh, brackets here, uh, if I enter a half as a half rather than 0.5. Uh, the other way, there is one more template we could use, and that is our, on Math 1. Now I'm going to turn off the uh, line now and come over to this template, which is the, uh, the nth root. So when I tap this template, we get a spot to put, we want the square root into the second box, goes 49, and execute. So quite a few ways to do the root of a number. With negative numbers, it's very important to always wrap the number uh, in brackets. So if we wanted to square negative 6, let me just tidy things up here. Um, here we go. We'll type in using the negative key to the left of 0 rather than the subtract key. If I tap the subtract key, it wants to subtract uh, what I'm about to do from the previous result. So I'll tap clear and we'll use the negative key entry here. Negative 6. Now, um, to wrap it in brackets, I've forgotten to start off with an opening bracket, so here's a little trick. We can select over it and come down here to the uh, underneath solve, there's a set of brackets. Now, whatever's selected here will show up where our, uh, inside our brackets. So it's wrapped negative 6 in brackets, and now I want to do it to the power of 2. Tap execute, and we're done. Another way is simply just to type in negative 6. Whoops, I used the wrong one. Here we go again. Type in negative 6, press execute, and then go to the keyboard and just go to the power of, and immediately it says take the answer, which is negative 6, and square it. And so there's another way without uh, using brackets. The last way is to kind of set up an expression. We could say we want to square x, so x squared and then head off to the Math 3 template, and over here is the substitute or given. So we want the value of x squared given that x is equal to negative 6. Tap Execute, and all, uh, all of our, these ways of squaring are giving us 36. 
a few more little things to look at. So the next one is what about a cube root? Say we wanted the cube root of 216. Well, we'll use the uh, nth root template, put a three in, 216 underneath the root, tap execute, and there's our result. We could have done 216 to the power of one third if we'd, um, again, were familiar with fractional indices. That means we don't have to go near any of the templates here. Lastly, let's have a quick look at fractions. When you're dealing with fractions, we've got a fraction template to the right of line. Uh, if I tap that, we get a numerator and denominator uh, box to enter a fraction in. So we'll put a three upstairs and a four downstairs. And let's say we had to add together three quarters and uh, one sixth. So we'll now put the addition operator, another template upstairs is a one. I'm gonna tap down using the key here. Uh, and put a 6 downstairs, tap execute, 11 twelfths. Another way of doing that is simply um, not go near the keyboard, but to use the fraction, uh, the, well, divide kind of template here. We could have done 3 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 6, tap execute, and we get 11 twelfths. Finally, we must be very careful with mixed numbers. I'll just clear everything out the way there. If I type in three and a half using the keyboard uh, so that it looks to all intents and purposes like three and a half and press execute, notice that we know that three over two is actually seven over two. So three and a half is definitely not three over two here. What's happened is Classpad has assumed that in between here we've got a product and it treats it as if there was a multiply there uh, I'm just going to tap the finger up here. What that does is repeat any line that the cursor is on. If I tap the finger, it's just recalculated. And you can see no difference between three times a half. And if I backspace out of there uh, and tap, we're getting the same result. So when we want to add um, or do any work with a mixed number, we must remember to put in a multiplicate, uh, sorry, an addition operator so that uh, Classpad understands we've got the fraction three and a half and it says, ah, that's seven over two, the one we wanted. If we wanted to do some work with this and say maybe double this result, we can bring it down to a new line, wrap the whole fraction in brackets using the bracket template here, and then go to the end of the line. Maybe we want to multiply this one by two. We'll press execute and it's done.